I'm not going to pretend I came up with this. This is a really cool thing called a Lectenna. I like to see wireless signals. That sounds pretty awesome. Um, I have in front of me a uh, little signal Schottky diode. This is a NTE-112. I'll link the uh, Navy page that had a little competition, which is long past, but they left the page up and had plenty of cool details. This is one of the recommended brands of signal diodes they had. I had one here. I would soldered a bunch of stuff and cut it. I was experimenting with different lengths of wire, and since I'd soldered it, I just kept redoing it. Um, but it works great for Wi-Fi. Um, this is kind of hideous, so we'll do a new one um, and make a new one here real quick. So we'll show what, what little this takes to do. You don't need anything fancy for this other than the aforementioned Schottky diode and the LED. So we're going to spread the legs on the LED, and it should look like so. Take note of which leg was longer, because you'll need to connect the LED where it is reverse with the diode, so the LED is going to be facing one way, the diode is going to face the other way. The important part is to make sure that the legs are about six centimeters, and it is polarity sensitive, so as I move it around this axis point, there it is, there's a good spot, you can see it flashing. Isn't that cool? So, you know, I could have soldered this and made it look pretty, but I twisted it together really tightly, and then I realized, oh man, uh, this Chinese LED pack I have, the legs are not all the same length. So, this garbage, not very well put together, uh, Lectina works just as well as the one that was a little longer, that I have wound tons of wire around, soldered, clipped, soldered, clipped. Um, this is the important part needs to be six millimeter uh, dipole. So you measure from end to end, and these people be around six millimeter. Um, a lot of the folks online are gonna show you, put it in a test tube. This is the only test tube I have, it's plastic. Um, so I'm gonna go find myself some cheap plastic test tubes. I'll make some of these of various lengths. There are some other YouTube videos out there where you can see folks have done different frequencies by building different size dipoles. I just thought this was really cool. Um, it's rare that you have something that you can receive RF with and have it light up being so simple. This, this is on the level of like easier than a crystal radio. So there's a Lectenna. Go build one. Have fun. Uh, links in description.